Welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards, where we will explore the complexities of compliance and how to ensure business success within your RTO. This podcast is for anyone within the training industry who wants to learn from my experience as an RTO consultant, RTO manager, trainer and assessor, and entrepreneur, as well as the experience of other experts in this field. Listen in and let us help you become the RTO superhero you want to be. Welcome back to the RTO Superhero Podcast, where we help you with your business side of your RTO, as well as compliance, ensuring that you get the balance between compliance and business success. Today, we're talking about Profit First. You may have heard about this. It's a book that's been around for a little while now. It's a financial management system created by Mike McCullough that's designed to help you as a manager and owner of an RTO be more profitable and financially stable. Profit First is a unique and effective system that has transformed the finances of countless businesses around the world. Here's a step-by-step guide to implementing Profit First into your RTO. Step one, determine your target allocation percentages. The first step is to determine the percentage of your revenue that you'll allocate towards different accounts, such as profit, owner's pay, tax and superannuation, and operating expenses. Your accountant or bookkeeper can help you to determine the right allocation percentages for your RTO based on your financial situation. Step two, open bank accounts for each category. Next, you'll need to open separate bank accounts for each category. This will help you track your cash flow more effectively and ensure that you're putting the money in the right place. You should have a separate account for your operating expenses, profit, owner's pay, and taxes. Now, let's give you a little analogy of why we do this and we have them in separate accounts. So the example I'm going to give you is a tube of toothpaste. I know it sounds weird, doesn't it? Uh, But you think about it. If you have a tube of toothpaste and you know that there's still toothpaste in the end of the tube, you'll squeeze out every little bit out of that tube of toothpaste until you finally go out and go buy another tube of toothpaste. But you'll use every single drop that's there because it's there. This is a bit like your bank account. So your bank account, if you can see what's in your bank account, you're more likely to spend it and then not have enough money in the bank for paying super and all of the other expenses. So this is why we open separate bank accounts. Step three, allocate your revenue to each account once. Once you've determined your target allocation percentages and opened your bank accounts, you'll need to allocate your revenue to each account. For example, if your revenue for the month is $10,000 and your target allocation percentage for profit is 10%, you'll need to transfer $1,000 to your profit account. You should do this for each account, making sure that you allocate the correct amount of money to each. Step four, manage your operating expenses with Profit First. Profit First, you'll be working with a smaller amount of money for your operating expenses, so it's essential to manage them carefully. Look for areas where you can reduce costs without affecting your operations and consider outsourcing tasks to free up more time. You should also avoid using your operating expenses account for anything other than operating expenses. Step five, monitor your cash flow. Finally, it's crucial to monitor your cash flow regularly. Keep an eye on your bank balances and make adjustments as needed. If you've consistently consistently not hitting your target allocation percentages, it may be time to reevaluate your expenses or pricing strategy. You should also make sure that you're transferring money to your profit account regularly, even if it's just a little a bit a month. Implementing profit first can take some time and effort, but the benefits are well worth it. 
By focusing on profits first and managing your expenses more carefully, you can create a more financially stable and profitable RTO. Here are some additional tips for implementing profit first into your RTO. Get buy-in from your team. Implementing Profit First will involve changes to the way your RTO manages finances. Make sure that everyone in your team understands the system and the benefits it can bring. Automate your finances. Setting up automatic transfers between your bank accounts can make it easier to manage your cash flow and stay on top of your finances. Regularly review and adjust your allocations. As your business grows and changes, your target allocation percentages must need, will need to be adjusted. Regularly review your allocations to make sure they still reflect your business's financial goals. Work with a profit-first professional. Consider working with a certified profit-first professional to help you implement the system and get the most out of it. So that's it for today's show. Thank you very much for tuning in to the RTO Superhero Podcast. If you have any questions about implementing Profit First within your RTO, feel free to reach out to us on our website or social media channels. Thank you for joining me today. In our next episode of the RTO Superhero Podcast, we'll be covering how to create engaging training, tips for trainers and assessors to supercharge their learning. Thanks for listening. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us at the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards. Please take a moment to rate and review the podcast on your preferred podcast app. Each rating and review helps me fulfill my goal of helping training organisations around Australia to learn and grow in compliance and business success.